Hi, this is Brantley with Zion Security. Today we're going to go through how to reconnect your alarm.com wireless cameras and identify what the problem is you're experiencing with them. Um, so first thing I want to go through is some basic troubleshooting to identify what the problem is. Um, main thing I want to ask is, or the first thing I want to ask is, have you changed anything with your wireless uh, network? Have you changed your router? Have you changed your password? It's the most common reason why your ca customer's cameras will disconnect. Um, next thing is, is this a problem you're experiencing with multiple cameras or is it just one? If it's just one, go out, find that camera, look at it. Uh, all Alarm.com cameras have a light on the front of them. Um, if you see that light, um, and they're right down here, you can kind of see, hopefully. Um, if you can see the light on the front, see if it's red. If you don't see a light on the front, what that usually means is there's no power to the camera and that's gonna be your problem. Um, so trace that wire back, find where it's plugged in, plug it in, and see if that light comes back on and turns green and then check your app and see if you see that camera working again. Um, last thing we'll talk about is what I see frequently is customers will have a wireless bridge or a extender and I have one of those sitting right here actually and we'll talk about it later when we go to connect cameras with WPS mode. But what they'll do is they'll go in and they'll have this thing plugged in and they'll say, what is this? I don't know what this is. And they'll unplug it and then their camera will go down. They, then they realize I needed that for my camera. And so if, you've, if in the last week or so you've unplugged something, go plug that back in to see if that resolves your problem. Um, so as always, first rule with cameras, if it stops working, just unplug it, plug it back in. Wait 30, wait 30 seconds, plug it back in, see if that resolves your problem. If it does, then great. If not, then let's get to work on trying to reconnect your cameras with AP mode and WPS mode. So when you go to enter WPS mode or AP mode, you might run into having difficulty doing so and or might accidentally uh, factory reset your camera. So I'm going to show you what factory reset looks like because um, that might actually be something that you're needing to do to um, get your camera to a point where it'll enter WPS mode or uh, AP mode and so when you do that you press the bottom the back button it's going to go through so now we enter WPS mode AP mode it's gonna flash green and red like that You'll let go and it's going to go through a factory reset. And just for reference, I have some other cameras here. The buttons are gonna be different. So the buttons right here on this specific model, this is a, a V723, it's an outdoor camera. Here's another one, this button's right here. A little bit harder to push than some of the other models. This one's another model, it's down here. So everyone looks a little bit different, they all function the same. So just find the button, you hold them, the lights all work the same. So now that we factory reset this camera here, um, it's back to the default state. This is what it'll look like when you plug it in. Um, so that flashing red. And then once it goes through its boot up sequence, it's going to enter AP mode. So that's what it looks like, it's flashing white. So right now I'm gonna show you what how to connect your camera through WPS mode. Um, now not all routers have a WPS button. It's kind of the easiest way to connect a camera, um, but a lot of routers don't have the ability to do that. But if you check your router, see if you have a button on it. Frequently it'll have like a little signal waves coming off of it or it'll actually say WPS. Um, most routers, if they have a button at all, it'll be a WPS button. Um, we have our little Wi-Fi bridge here, the IQ Wi-Fi bridge. It's just this button. It doesn't really say anything, but it's a button and that's our WPS button. So in order to get our camera here, um, we're going to have the button, we're going to press and hold, and what we're looking for is a blue flashing light on these cameras. So we're going to press and hold. 
there's our blue light and then we're going to press and hold here now on this camera i don't know if you can or our bridge here we have a flashing most routers they will have some sort of indication light that says i'm in ap or wire i'm in uh, wps mode now the camera is going to sit and flash um Depending upon the situation, it might be nice to have a friend to help you out with this, someone to stand by the router, someone to stand at the camera. Right now I can just, you know, sit here two feet away. Um, so now this is difficult to do um, if your camera is far away from your router. Um, so sometimes it is necessary to unplug and bring it closer. And that goes for AP mode as well. So as we saw, the camera went to a red and then flat connected with green. So that is a successful WPS pairing. And that's what we're looking for. So this camera is now connected to the internet and is ready to go on alarm.com and complete the installation. So now I'm gonna to go to this camera here. Now this has already completed our boot up sequence and is in what's called AP mode. And I'm going to hop onto my phone here and I'll show you how to connect with that. I'm also going to do another um, connection uh, with an iPhone, but I'm going to show you on my phone here with a droid. So what AP mode is, is it basically is broadca broadcasting um, its own wireless signal. And I'm going to connect to it um, with my cell phone. So you're going to look for it's going to say ADC and then the, the model number of the camera which is a V724 and then it's going to have a portion of what's called the MAC address. Now if you have a bunch of cameras that are in AP mode this could get confusing. Right now we just have one. We're going to connect to it. It's going to connect. It's going to try to see if it has an internet connection which it doesn't. My phone's going to say, hey, I don't have internet. What's going on? I'm gonna say, stay connected. Then I'm gonna just go to my normal browser. And then I'm in my web address, I'm gonna say 192.168, oh, that's two, eight, dot one, dot one, and hit go. Now, there's when you connect to it, so now I've connected to the camera, I'm gonna hit scan, and it's gonna look for wireless networks in range. So I have the IQ router right here with 100% signal strength. I'm gonna connect to that one. And then I've already, I have the password that I've already typed in and uh, copied, so I'm just going to paste my password in. Now obviously you're going to know the password to your router, just type it in right there and you'll hit submit. It says connecting to your access point, please refer to the installation guide to set up your device. That installation guide is going to be on alarm.com. Wi-Fi disconnected, that's because the camera is now trying to connect. You can see it turn green. And flashing green is it's trying to connect to the internet. The flashing green means it grabbed the, the internet signal. Once it goes solid green, it means it's completed the connection. Sometimes it can take a minute, sometimes it's really fast. No real normal here. But that is how you connect a camera through AP mode. But if you're at this stage, you're pretty much home free.